Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own eyeshadow palette for your business. This is a lot easier than what you may think. So we're going to go through a couple of options that you can choose from. And if you like this video, please like, follow and subscribe. So let's go. So the first option is wholesaling. Wholesaling is when you buy a pre-made palette from a vendor. Usually there is no customization and it's ready to ship, which is a good thing. But there are quite a lot of pros and cons, so I'm going to go through each of them and try to explain to you all of them. So the first advantage with wholesaling is that it's usually ready to ship. So all you have to do is place an order and in a couple of days or maybe a week you will get your order. So it's no wait, you just go, you order it and you get it, which I think is nice if you're starting out. Now the second is affordable prices. You can find a lot of palettes that are under $5 and you can get like 20 of them, which to me is a good price if you're starting something and you don't really know if you're going to do this for the long run, so you don't want to invest too much money. So, or if you're just starting out altogether, this is a good option. The third pro is that you can buy small MOQ. MOQ stands for minimum order quantity. So, which simply means that, you know, this is kind of like the, 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 um, the amount of palette that you have to buy. And so every time you look at a supplier uh, or a vendor, call it the way you want it, um, you always have to check the MOQ and you can find some really low MOQ, like 5 palettes or 20 or sometimes 100. So to me, with this option, you can really buy palettes, for, you can really just buy like 10 palettes for like $5 each, which in my opinion is a good price. Now let's talk about the downsides of wholesaling. So the first one is that you cannot customize it. Now it depends on your vendor, it depends on who you're working with, but usually when you do wholesaling, you really buy, you're really just buying the palette as it is. Sometimes they can allow you to change a bit like the colors to kind of play a bit with it. Sometimes they will allow you to put your logo on it, but when they allow you to do these things, it's usually when you're buying a lot of palettes. If you're just buying a tiny amount of palettes, like 20, it's not enough for them to allow you to customize it, so you will have to just buy it as it is. The second downside is that it is not unique. It, you know, if you are a cosmetic brand, it's not going to be practical because it won't necessarily represent your brand. You won't be able to be creative with your branding or to really have something unique to your personal brand. The third downside is it is available to everybody. So you can have the exact same palette as 10 other businesses, which can cause a lot of drama and cause a lot of problems within the community and can make you look like a scammer in the eyes of certain customers because when they look at your business, they look at the palettes, they're like, okay, but I saw these exact same palettes from this other businesses. So there is a problem. You're all buying your palette from the same vendor. I don't want that. Why would I buy from you if I already bought from this person? You are a thief, you know. Uh, they can accuse you of stealing ideas of or maybe, you know, of just stealing in general. So be careful with that. Here are some examples of wholesale palettes. So in case you were uh, asking yourself what it looked like, so this is kind of what you can expect. So I would recommend wholesaling for a boutique, but not for a cosmetic brand, simply because it's not they're just it's not unique enough for a cosmetic brand but it's good enough for a boutique so if you just have a boutique with a lot of other uh, products then this should be a good addition the second option is private labeling so with private labeling you have more options so for example you can just you can choose your packaging you can choose the eyeshadows you can choose the color you can choose everything you want uh, from that palette. You can really decide what you want from it. So if you want to have mattes, shimmers, glitters, you can. The thing with private labeling is that you don't own the formula. It's not yours, but the palette, the full palette, is completely made to your desires. From the packaging, you can decide the shape of the packaging, you can decide the colors, the illustration, you can decide the names. Everything is customized. The only thing that you don't own is the formula. Um, so yeah. 
Now, like all options, there are a couple of pros and cons, and I wanted to go through them real quick. So the first pro is that there is a huge var variety. So you can really go crazy with the type of eyeshadows that you want and the type of um, textures. Um, like if you want shimmery eyeshadows, matte or else, you can really go crazy. And the first pros actually goes with the second, which is it is really customizable. You don't really have to buy a palette as it is. You can really customize it to your desire, which to me is really awesome. The third pro is that depending on the palette, you can have a small MOQ. Now, if the palette is really complex to make, chances are you will have to buy a lot. But if the palette is not too complicated to produce, especially the packaging, you should be able to uh, buy only a couple of palettes, not just one or two, of course, but because you will have to buy maybe like a hundred or two hundred, but it's, you know, it's still quite a good deal in my opinion, but I'm pretty sure you can get it down to 50 palettes if you're working with the right people. Um, so yeah, the, fir uh, the fourth, yes, the fourth pro is that it is pretty affordable in my opinion. Now it's not cheap. Um, and it's not as affordable as wholesaling, but it is still, you know, decent. So actually, no, it's a good price. So it depends on how much you have, but I'm pretty sure you can have these palettes for a couple of hundreds, maybe like two hundreds. I've seen a couple of prices here and there, and I've seen like for 50 palettes, I think it was like... Um, less than a hundred and these were customized and keep in mind the more palettes you buy the cheaper it gets now there are a couple of downsides to private labeling so i just wanted to talk about this real quick so the first one is that the formula does not belong to you it's not yours so the formula of the eyeshadows belongs to the the, the private labeling company which usually also has a lab and all the formulas for the eyeshadows are theirs. It's not yours. It does not belong to your brand. Just the packaging and the, 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 the palette belongs to you, but not the eyeshadows. Now, the second downside is that it can be a bit more pricey than wholesaling. But to me, private labeling is still quite affordable if you're serious about your business. You can have a whole lot of customized palette for less than like 200. And I truly believe that it is a good price, but it is um, more expensive than wholesaling. Now, the third downside is that it may take more time depending on the style of the eyeshadow palette. If you want something really unique with a special shape that they don't already have and that they have to produce, this would take more time. But if you take a shape that they already have and you put your illustration, your logo, and then you choose uh, the colors and the color story of your palette, um, then it should take, it should be pretty fast. But Again, the more complex, the more expensive it will be, and the more like the longer it will take. Um, yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Here are some examples of product labeling companies that I was able to find on Alibaba. These are like these were like the result of a quick search, but I just wanted to show you some of the um, options that you had on Alibaba. Now, keep in mind, Alibaba is not the only place. You can find on Google a lot of companies that are just amazing that you can find on google straight away you don't have to go through alibaba and oftentimes you can find some that are located in the united states or in europe or in asia depending on where you live um, but yes these are still some really cool options that i just kind of wanted to showcase uh, in this video let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in a video where I show you guys all the private labeling companies that I already know about and how you can find them on Google. If you want me to make a whole video about free suppliers, vendors, uh, let me know. In my opinion, this is the best option for a small cosmetic brand because you are able to have your own branded eyeshadow palette with your own style your color story everything is yours and this is like truly the best option i believe and you know with still and still being able to have an affordable price so to me this is the best option 
And the third option is to work with the lab. I will go through the advantages and the downsides of working with a lab. So let's start with the pros. So the pros are that first, you can have a unique formula specially made for your own brand and nobody else will have this formula. This to me is a good pro because that means that you have something unique that nobody else can have. But honestly, when you're just starting out, you don't really need that because you're just starting. This is good for like brands that are already established. But to me, this is a really good pro. Now, the second pro is the packaging. So some lab will offer you custom packaging. Now, they don't all do this. Some will ask you to source the packaging somewhere else. But depending on who you're working with, you can get some pretty great deals with you know when about when it comes to packaging some will have everything in-house and that can be extremely useful but a lot of them might ask you to source the packaging somewhere else so it really depends on who you're working with and the third pro which is not really a pro is that it's definitely going to be more professional now even private labeling is really professional and even wholesaling can be professional. I don't know, I just feel like when you work with a lab, you know, and you create your own formula and everything, you're just like, you know, you're, you're like a big girl. I don't know how to explain this, like you're playing with big people, like the, the adults, if it makes any sense. But again, you really don't need this if you're just starting out. This, you know, I don't know, I just added this pro because to me, it feels like once once you start for like creating your formulas for your own brand, it just becomes something so different and so, so much more unique, you know? Now let's talk about the downsides because there are a couple of ones and they are pretty like heavy. So the first one is that it is really expensive. And when I say expensive, I mean expensive. So you have to count like thousands of dollars, no, no hundred, just thousands of dollars. It's going to be at least $2,000 and even more if you want to buy the formula and if you want to pay for production and the, and the packaging and everything is going to be a couple thousands of dollars. So if that's what you want to do, just be ready to pay the money. This is why I say that this is not the way to go for a small starting, you know, like business. This is for like an established business that already has an audience and know that they can just sell that thing out, you know. But if you're starting out and you just have a small business, it's just starting, you don't have an audience, this, I don't think this is the best idea, you know. The second downside to this option is that it will take a lot more time to get the products ready. So the formula will have to take a couple of months to be made. Then the production is also going to take a bit of time. And then at the end, it will probably take like a couple of months, maybe a good year for you to get the product. So it really has to be like a serious project that you're willing to invest a lot in and that you are willing to wait for and it's truly going to take some time though like really out of all the other options this one is what is the one that takes the longest now the third and last downside to this option is that you will have to buy large quantities they are not going to start production for like 50 eyeshadow palettes they are only going to start production for like at least 500 palettes and you can only accept the 500 palettes from a small lab. If you go with like a big lab, they will not accept 500 palettes and you have to buy way more than that, like 2000s and more. So in my opinion, this option is the best if you already have an audience, like if you have people willing to support you and buy from you massively, or if you already have an established business who already has people buying from them. These are the reasons why you may want to look into it. But if you're starting from scratch, this might not be ideal for you. Now, let's not forget that some labs will offer private labeling. And in this case, this is a really good sign. You should try it. You should look into it. A lot of labs will offer private labeling. They just keep the formula to themselves, but they're willing to give you a better price and a better deal. So it really depends on who you're working with. And the fourth and last option is to make it yourself. So to me, the idea of making my own cosmetics is something that always 
makes me happy because I have like a full control over the creative part and the formula. And I truly believe that this is an amazing solution for anyone who is creative and loves to make handmade product. So if, for example, making lip glosses was your thing and you want to just, you know, make more product, then making eyeshadows will be your thing too. Making eyeshadow palettes from scratch yourself. And it is just so much freedom with, with everything, you know, the way you create it. The way you make it, the formula, the shape of the eyeshadows, the palette, it's just so much creativity. But I will go through all the pros and cons right now. And the first pro is that you will have a unique formula. Since you're the one creating it and making it, it will be unique to your business. You will have a full control over what you want in your product and what you don't want in your product, which I think is amazing. Now, if you are scared that maybe you don't have what it takes to formulate it, don't worry, I will help you. In this channel, I will make a lot of videos on how to make certain cosmetics like eyeshadows, pressed eyeshadows, foundation, lipstick, lip glosses, all of it. And I will also be selling formulas to make um, hair care products, skincare and makeup. So if you're interested in starting any of these businesses, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram because I will announce when some of the formulas are ready to be sold, uh, purchased. Now, the second pro is that you have a full control over the palette. So you have full control over the color story and even the packaging. So the packaging, you have two options. You can either get it uh, manufactured by uh, a manufacturer uh, on Alibaba or you can order it on AliExpress and customize it there or you can customize it yourself which will make it cheaper you know so it will be more affordable for you to start there are amazing packaging that you can just pre-made packaging that you can just buy on AliExpress Alibaba or even TKB trading and I will show you some examples afterwards like very near the end and the third pro is that it is a handmade product so you can really position yourself on a more like small business handmade product uh, market especially on cosmetics which is greatly appreciated people love to buy handmade products from small persons you know from small business you know owned by a couple of people that they can support with their money by buying their product so this is a true marketing argument that matters to a lot of people and this is also why i love the whole idea of making my own products because you can really explain to the person the whole creative process how you made it from scratch and explain the ingredients and everything so this is a real marketing argument and definitely a pro for me now the fourth pro is that you can start with less than a hundred bucks you can start with a really tight budget you can find most supplies on tkb trading um you can find most packaging on tkb trading or alibaba and you can find pretty much everything you need like materials ingredients on tkb trading and aliexpress which means that you can start with a pretty slim budget i would usually recommend 150 and that normally if you're doing really if you're doing kind of basic stuff it should be enough for you to have a couple of palettes ready um, to sell and the fifth and last pro is that you can have a really small amount of palettes so if you're unsure about it and you're just starting out and just want to see if it could potentially work making it yourself can really allow you to kind of test it to, to see if you like it because you can literally just make five palettes 10 palettes you know just a couple and try to sell them and try to see if people like it if this is for you if making eyeshadows is your thing or not and this to me is a real pro because it means that even though you're investing a bit of money you will also have to learn a couple of things but you will be able to control the amount of palettes you're making and the amount of money you're investing which to me is a really really good pro now let's talk about the downsides of this possibility because let's be real it's not just easy peasy and really simple if you are interested in this option and you don't have any experience formulating cosmetics or you know making cosmetics you will have to learn you'll have to learn how to make eyeshadows how to press eyeshadows 
which ingredient to use, you know, how to use the pigments, how to, what can you do. You will have to learn all these, all of these things and you'll have to practice. So it's going to take a bit of time and resource, maybe some money resource, like you, you may have to invest money into learning this part or maybe you'll be able to find enough free um, information for you to just do it like this, which it is possible. Uh, but it will take time and practice to really learn the craft and be able to make eyeshadows that you love and will be able to sell. The second downside is that you can potentially be uh, limited to what you can do, but it honestly just depends on your budget. For example, packaging. You may have to buy packaging from uh, a manufacturer to get it personalized. Or what you can do is to make it yourself by buying pre-made eyeshadow palettes that are empty and customizing the packaging to fit your brand. But this is definitely something for creatives. And this kind of joins my third pro uh, con, which is that this option is definitely more for a creative person. If you're not a crafty, creative person, I would not recommend this option. But if you are someone who loves to make things, create things, you love to design, you love to, you have like big vision, you love, you're really crafty, you love to create things with your own hand, this is definitely something that you're going to love. But if you're not like this, you're probably going to hate this. And here are some examples of eyeshadow palettes that you can buy from AliExpress or Alibaba. You can get them designed and custom made. So if you don't want to make it yourself, it's okay. You can just get it made by another manufacturer from Alibaba or AliExpress. But I would recommend Alibaba. Now you can really get it done the way you want it with your logo and your illustration as you want. Now let's talk about the eyeshadows themselves. If you want to make them yourself, you have two options. Option number one is to use a pre-made base or option number two is to learn how to formulate them by yourself from scratch. So here is an example of a pre-made base. This one is the matte texture base and basically you want to use this one with uh, a liquid and the liquid will usually be the pressing medium from TKV Trading. And there is also another pre-made base to make the eyeshadows, which is called my Mix Press Base. With these ingredients, you can already start to make eyeshadows. And all you will need uh, with these ingredients are the pressing, like you need like um, the actual uh, tool to press the eyeshadows that you can also find on TKV Trading and you can find all size Pretty much all the sizes that you need to press it if you want I can make a more detailed video on how you can actually do it and how you can actually make it I just wanted to uh, Add more information now. This was the first option There is a second option and the second option is just you formulating your eyeshadows from scratch without a pre-made base. So this can be a bit more hard, uh, it's a bit harder, but it is extremely rewarding and it's definitely an amazing thing for your business and your brand because this is so unique to your own brand, business and palettes, it's just amazing. And this is something you can learn because it is not too hard, it takes time but it's not impossible. And if you're interested in that, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I will be posting more and more videos on how to uh, press your eyeshadows, how to create it, how to make it, where, uh, where you can buy all the ingredients and all of these things. If you're interested in buying a pre-made formula, follow me on YouTube and on Instagram because I will soon be selling formulas for a small business to use in their businesses. So if you're interested, Follow me. Now let's get back to business. We've already talked about uh, how you can make the eyeshadows and press the eyeshadows. Now let's focus on the packaging because I really wanted to say that you can buy the packaging from TKB Trading. They have really basic packaging, but I really like their packaging. It's sturdy, cardboard, it's really, really pretty, and it's reusable and magnetic. So to me, it's really like all together. So you can refill the eyeshadow palette and it is magnetic so you don't have to glue the eyeshadow pants. So to me this is the best solution and it will always be my favorite option when it comes to making eyeshadows but it's not a one fit for all. 
it is definitely something that I would recommend for creative people, people who love to make handmade things and really are not scared of being crafty, okay? If that's not you, go with a wholesaler or a supplier or a lab. Now, this is the end of this video. Uh, please, if you have any more questions concerning any of the, the things that I've said, comment, leave it in the comment section and I'll try my best to uh, reply as fast as I can. Um, if you like the video, please consider to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. A lot more videos are to come. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you are having an amazing day and we will see each other in the next video. Thank you.